Okay. Welcome to the program. Remove. The crimes you have in the north, the insecurity you have in the north is as a direct consequence of their own action. They grouped them. Al Qaeda in the Maghreb, Al ISIS in West Africa, Boko Haram, four and a half men, bandits, all of them. Who brought them to Nigeria? It's full of it. Fully brought them into Nigeria. El Rufai brought them in. Bounty State Governor brought them in. Are you people deaf and dumb and stupid? When you come out and you pretend, oh, we are one, one Nigeria, go and show me. Somebody was asking, where is the boundary? Uh, where would the boundary of uh, Biafra begin? And I asked the fool, where, where, where did the boundary of Nigeria begin? People from Niger come in and go as they like. Most of these idiots are from Niger. They are building a pipeline to Niger. They are building a rail line to Niger. They are building roads to Niger. We are asked where the money comes from, which is Biafra land. We don't have those infrastructure. No, we don't. But you are taking our money. You come to Zombe. You come to Ahaji. You come to Ebema. You come to, to, to Aguilera. You come to uh, Ebony. You take our resources. Sell it, get the money, and now you're building a way to the Nigerian Republic. And you want me to be happy with you. Clap for you all. Nigeria is doing well. One Nigeria. I think you, you, you may be that again. You are insane. You come to my land, you take our oil, you take our gas, you take our manpower, you take everything, our VAT, our tax that we pay. You are now building a road from Katsina to Niger. Airport in Niger. Refinery in Niger. You take all your crude oil from my land, you take it to Niger, you refine it, you bring it back to me as a refined petroleum, or as PPS as you call it. And you're telling me that that country is viable, you're telling me that Nigeria should be supported. We are in one Nigeria, we are not going anywhere, and you're dying every day. Because those that they appointed to speak for you, they gave them money and positions. So that they will come out on the pages of newspapers to give the world the misleading impression that everything is okay when things are not okay. Go through the statements of Ohaneze and see the contradictions in it. Nigeria is not working. We are marginalized. And then you come back and say Nigeria is one. We must stay in it together. Are you not foolish? These are the useless intelligence that you have. On one hand, you say Nigeria is not working. You are marginalized. You are being discriminated against, you're suffering, they're killing you everywhere, and you come back to the same place and say, Nigeria must be one. Had Nigerians gotten together to say they want to be part of this useless contraption, that's entirely their business. So I'm a Democrat, I'm subscribed to it. Thank you. Omo Chinake, from here, you are highly welcome to our today's broadcast right here from our homeland radio Biafra here in Biafra land. I love that name. Che Hyora Che Hyora Chineke Mere Mepere. I love that name. I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist Mazimara Chimachu from Mundiabo. Mundiabo is Naniri. Aniri is a local government in Nigeria province Biafra land. Omo Chineke, we will continue to push, we will continue to maintain our peaceful approach to confront this very Nigeria and their British counterparts because our fathers have stood them, stood against them, defend this very land and kept a map for us that we may hold as our place today and they blackmailed our fathers while they forced them into the war in our place Ojuku did not go to Kaduna and fight he did not go to Kano and fight we were here living on our own Nigeria government through their British brought war to our place, and later they blackmailed our father. They said they are rebels. They said they are after resources. They said, they... did you see us bomb any place in Kebi? Where do Ojuku Gulet destroy something in Kaduna? Where do Biafra um, Oguni destroy something in Kano? Where did we attack them in the north? 
not in no place. They rebelled, they rebelled us, rebels, they presented us to the world as criminals, and our fathers didn't even care. They were busy protecting this very land, keeping it safe for us that today we call it our own. We thank Chukwu Abiyama for making it possible that we may have a land we call our own. Through the efforts of those he raised to stand the British and their co-conspirators who have conspired to desolate our land by declaring this very genocide and they call war on us and there was a land and sea blockade and all these things took place but there are still Biafrans in different parts of the world. We are the most populated people in Nigeria and that is why we are informing the world this very time around that what our God did for us we will not start showing the world that our fathers did not fight, um, did not declare war by starting with the gun. No, we only show the world that our fathers was only defending this land by making, uh, taking the the way of um, or the the role of self determination. We choose self-determination because through self-determination we can vindicate our fathers. If we start with gun, our fathers cannot be vindicated. And that is why we have determined to maintain our peaceful approach that the world may know that it was the British and Nigeria that brought war to our place because what our fathers was complaining about, we have seen it multiply this time and we are trying our best under self-determination to show the world what is happening in our land, to show the world what Nigeria is doing to us, which if we start with gun, they could not be able to see it and understand it because the British will also lie. And that's why we come with self-determination. Not that we don't have the right to self-defense, no, that one, nobody will give you order for self-defense. It is a natural law. But this very self-determination is to tell the world that our fathers did not declare any war because you cannot point at a place in Abuja, Kaduna, Kano, Medugri, anywhere that the bullet of Fuju could touch. Show us nowhere. Then, why did you bring war to our place and at the end you rebel, label our fathers um, rebels? Did we shoot anybody in Kano? Did we shoot in Kano? Did we go to Medugri? We were here. You disagree with the agree, agree accord agreement you went for. The same thing I have repeated. You are registered, you are secretary to UN. You are a member. UN gave order that you release the American. You refused. Then compare it with the agree accord agreement. Even the, agree, the UN order is even more powerful than the agree accord agreement. Then why do you disobey it? The same way you disobey a Bria Accord Agreement that was presided over by General Hankar of Ghana. The British told Gowan not to agree. This time around, do they not disagree? Do they not disagree? Now, what about their own court orders? Do they obey it? Then, if we start anything now, you will come up and say, IPOB terrorists, that is why we are informing the world that we have vindicated our fathers because. They did not go to Kaduna and fight. They did not go to the north. They were here on defense because the Nigeria brought war in our home. We cannot allow them to destroy our land. And that is why when they saw how our, our fathers stood against them, they turned around and said they are rebels so that nobody will help them. This time around, we are POB, we are here to set the record straight and also restore the land of Biafra without any fear. We don't care the sacrifices we are paying. After all, it is a privilege to die for Biafra restoration and we will continue to push under the, um, the instruction of our God in heaven, Jugo Kikabiyama, who have been leading us through, as our leader told us that as we proceed, Chugu Okike Abiyama in heaven's 
presides over every of our proceedings, and we have witnessed it all this time. And on that point, we are going to pray to Chukwokika Biyama in heavens, who have brought us this very place, who have been assisting us, who have been leading us, who have been instructing us, who have been guiding us. We thank you, Yesu Daine Kelegi, Idi Uku, Ina Di Ruebi Ebi, Odi Onye Di Kagi, Odi Kwa Nunya Geje Tunyeregi, Ndi Nana Hei Chotara Onye Ebo, Hawe Kwa Nwa Hachi Ine Edu, Ni Ine Idru Hije, Chi Gozri Mu, Ni Ine Gozri Ha, Chi Nna Bi Ike, Ni Ine Gozri Hike, Chi Bi Ike, Ni Ine Gozri Hike, Nna Edozie, Ni Ine Dozere Ha, Obu Duto Ni Gozri Hongwe Ki, how we matter now? We give the radio to. How we go home after you? Even let's do. Ogu gua ina chapter pe. Ma kono we ngua gua ingu. Barak si jureba. Kama na ika na gari. Na wa egitera le si ina na here. Ika do ukrani ndo. Oku ihi jibuli egil. Na re kele na ro tutu. Nde mada bago ukrani. Iji we kusi radio biafu. Nde mada bago ukrani. Iji we kusi IPOB. Nde mada bago ukrani. Iji kusi ESM, hana ga anatego. Ndi wale kena bako adranya. Wena anatego from ndi madungoro biebere. Basara biafu. Ni hii na hangu le interest, na hangu le source. Ivi siti namdekan. Onye hon hana hayo le hengu. Hansi ya yesin, hake meka namdekan mamana. Ashi ashi. Ezu do. Ime alawo ki hendi di otu ame. Apa hane eju, ndi madune nye hayi hen. Hanko kwa namdekan no anha. Maka na ima na nufodi ndi ya ina laiki gozi haru. Ka hapi sondi o zombe na fundraising. Hana laiki ime nki ha special. Hamagi na hana garanguwe. Ezu do. Okwa gi ime na lao ki hedi otu aneme. Mebono hani inenu. Buheya. Ndri nene mi hedi otu a meboa. Meboa ha. Anatego. Na hana namde kanu. Na ge jie me kesi ya. Na ge me kwe kawamala. Sire ka ine ebuli ke. Aí na jaque, a candi me não andei queica game, o que nós imputamos na quarta, a quarta não andei queica no nosso, a campote. De quando ele queica ele ansu, nem o tempo viafra, quarta o quarta. O que quando ele queica o pobre bebê de aí na, é a cada quarta que ele queica no nosso. Chuva para, nem ele pode. O que o que nós ansu, não andei queica o nosso, não andei queica no, tirei que o zigapa, mas quando viafra a gabar Aya choni hapa la gei dini, aya choni hapa la gei ni namde kano sio. Na re kile na roti, na roti tam, makani bochi, na hali chifu kupoki ke, abya amana, poro ime ihe ni le. We have prayed. This early attack, na wao. Any attack on this program. I'm not even within day where a teacher na na in the Facebook in the cap or go out in charge of my program, my page. I don't know the within day the hand card. Eh? Mum, the ke emere emere employ. In the charge of my page. In the hand me broker so that I can have fun of. I can have fun of. As if Nigeria shouldn't be running as vulnerable. We move. Now the canon must be freed. Nigeria is a terrorist country. They cannot continue recruiting terrorists into their army, recruiting terrorists into their police, recruiting terrorists into their road safety, recruiting terrorists into their custom, recruiting terrorists into their navy, recruiting terrorists into their civil defense, recruiting terrorists into their air forces, recruiting terrorists into their government, keeping terrorist leader, Shekau, inside that Sorok also. And they are disobeying court order that are freed in the These people we are presenting them to the world for what, what they are. They are terrorist organized, terrorist country. This is a terrorist country. They pamper terrorism. They turn around. Uh, they say that uh, 
the owners of the land, they are not terrorists. While they open the borders and the terrorists are flowing. These terrorists are Fulanis, well organized by Nigerian government. Their government threatened the owners of the land to give their land for Ruka so that their life can be saved. Nigerian government never arrested any of them. I'm talking about Fulani, the they call Hesmen terrorists, Nigerian terrorists, um, Nigerian army foot soldiers, you know. Anywhere they camp in the bush around in Biafra land, around closer to there, you see checking point. Anywhere you see checking point in Biafra land, full and go to the just that bush around there. Go there, go inside there, you see full and they camp. That is what they are doing here. That is why they recruit terrorists into the army, they recruit them into DSS. Did you understand? Terrorism custom, terrorism is even heading the custom. So that the border will be open. In Nigerian custom, you will get 90% of terrorists as officers in Nigerian custom. That is where you see the highest corruption. The people that open borders. These are people that allow people to come into Nigeria with national ID, identity card and voters card, the people from Niger Republic, people from Mali, people from Burkina Faso. All of them, all these Fulanis, they have national ID card of Nigeria. They have Nigerian voters card. They have express road to any border in Nigeria. Are you aware? Then, how do Nigeria turn around and call indigenous people of Biafra? Terrorist. These people we are telling you about that the government have been sponsoring to sack villages to kill them. Ask Nigerian government how many of them are in detention? How many of them have stand trial? No one. Then what is the government doing? They back them up, they guide them. They lead them to the killings. They help them to kill Nigerian army. They kill as the, the full armies will invade. The duty of Nigerian army is to be shooting. They are professional in shooting. Killing the villagers. After killing, all those that killed the people will run back to the barrack. And very early in the morning, you will see few Nigerian army and police. They will come to the community to calm them down. Hey, police will see to it. Let there be peace. Let there... The people that are coming you down are the same people that came to your place, your house in the night and massacred you in the name of Flamin Hesme. The same Nigerian army, the same Nigerian police. These are the people that massacre people in their communities. Because their duty is to create way for the full army terrorists to occupy people's land. And if you see them telling, IPOB is a terrorist, IPOB, you ask them, where have IPOB invaded in any part of Nigeria? We ask you. So, creating, um, launching ESN to fight, to help the Nigerian government and their compromised security and fight terrorism as they always announce that to fight terrorism everybody must be involved and that POB have played their part by launching ESN we are not demanding sponsors from Nigerian government we are doing it because our land must be saved having seen the compromise of Nigerian government by threatening the owners of the land to give their land or their life. We have seen the negligence and the inefficiency of duty of the governors from the east, and we have no other option because they are romancing with the killer men. They are 
inviting the Boko Haram that was recruited into the forces to occupy our lands. The armies and police in our land are terrorists recruited into the armies and the police. Now, those in the bushes are Nigerian army and police with few Fulani terrorists claiming to be Catholics. All of them are in the bush because they came for the same mission. And that is why we are not going to stop, we are not shaking in anything or attack that comes on ESN or from anywhere because what they are doing is lawful. The people that should be arrested are the governors from the East. They should be held responsible, responsible, responsible for um, negligence of duty and the inefficiency of duty. They are guilty of these offenses because they are governors, which means they are number one security of the state. But they never make any effort to stop the marauders, Fulani terrorists that are being sponsored by the federal government because they don't have power over federal government. They knew that these killers came from federal government. They knew that Lai Mohammed is aware that they are invaders as he told the world, that these people are invaders from Chad, Mali, Burkina Faso. And we asked them, how come you are threatening the owners of the land to give out their land to foreigners and let them occupy and they let their cows chop the grasses? And that is what they're asking. How come you are pushing army to come and kill their friends that are doing their legitimate business? That are not even eyeing your your political position. People that are after their their survival, people that have fed up with anything concerning Nigeria, they are fighting for their own. They are the people that we are the people that um, we provide water for our people, borehole. We provide houses for our people. We are the people that build it. We build schools. We built um, markets. We built everything by ourselves. We built companies by ourselves. Anything you see here is by ourselves. In communities, we buy transformers by ourselves. These are the people Nigerian government turn around and say they are terrorists. Because we said that the amalgamation um, agreement of 100 years have expired. And we cannot keep quiet because we have always been the victim since the amalgamation, which our fathers was not notified before the rubbish. Now, we have managed to endure the rubbish they call Nigeria for 100 years, which was 2014. And we have no option than to go in line with what the agreement said. They say that after the 100 years, that any people that want to leave, then they are free to leave the Nigeria. That is what the British said. Then Nigeria should go on round table. But the same British was busy sending ambassadors to represent them in Nigeria, knowing fully well that what they are supposed to send to Nigeria in January 2014 should be peacekeeping delegates that should come to review the amalgamation agreement by telling Nigeria that the agreement has expired. That's what we expected from the British, but they were busy sending Campbell from Campbell to Catalonia Line and so other British criminals that are always here to take our oil. Then you that made the agreement that should last 100 years, why do you keep sending new ambassadors instead of peace delegates on reviewing the amalgamation agreement which you wrote to last 100 years? Why, British? Why? Why didn't
didn't you send the delegates? Or do you think that we Biafrans that have been the victims of Nigeria will be will continue on one Nigeria? After we have endured the intimidation, after we have endured the massacre, after we have endured every kind of wickedness that any type of weakness, wickedness in the world is what we are facing. Even our people that managed to escape from this very land by selling their goods, selling their vehicles, or using the money they got to travel to other countries. Nigeria is still using their foreign affairs minister and the writing against them there. They are killing us here, those that escaped. They will be writing to their embassies to be submitting fake, that is, fake, fake um, status, that is, to give us, um, to criminalize us in foreign countries. So that they will, anywhere we come to, they will be watching us, they will be looking at us, they will be suspecting us. They are not certified that we run away. They are still telling their ambassador to be telling that country that those people are evil, so they are different, they are wicked. But when you come at home, they say it's one night. We can never have a problem and go to their embassy, they will help us. No, rather they will start writing against us. You report your matter to Nigerian embassy from as a Biafran, you are gone. They will increase the volume. They will increase it because they don't want you to succeed. They are killing you at home. They are sending full and to occupy your home. So they don't want you to leave so that you can come back home and ask them, who is living in my compound? So they want you to lost in different parts of the world where you run to. Because they have projected your land, their full army, from Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, Chad. They are the owners of our land. And that is why, in different parts of the world, they are trying to tarnish our image on the IPO beacon. And today, we are now seen as human beings, though some of them are still looking at us with the lies that Nigerian ambassador, ambassadors lied against us. It doesn't matter if the person is an Igbo. Ask Obiozo, what did he do to our people when he was, a, um, though he's late, when he was the ambassador of Nigeria in Brazil, when he was the Nigerian ambassador in USA, what benefit did our people get from him? You will always be against our people. That's why you were appointed to be there. Did you understand? Now, what we are asking them is, do they expect us to continue with Nigeria after being the victim? When they said the war, the war ended 1970, there are three things that we will always remind them. They told the war that will take place. They said there will be rehabilitation. They said there will be reconstruction. They said there will be reconciliation. But what we saw was our worst implementation of taking our money. Our worst policy. Taking our money, giving us 20 pounds. These are people that lied to the world that there will be reconciliation. There will be reconstruction and there will be rehabilitations in our land of what they destroyed. The next one was to occupy the offices where we are working. The next one was to claim our companies and give it to Yorubas and the Northerners. The next one was to claim our houses. They call it abandoned property. These are people that said rehabilitation, reconstruction, and reconciliation. That's why if you see um, the person they call Iwanyang, you spit on his face. He said if not for Basanjo and Gowan, he would have he, that he will not know the outcome of that. He, we don't know what next that would have happened in that war. Imagine. Did you understand that that is why they always use those people to call them Eda, Elite. They are the people that give them rank. So that they knew that they have been, they removed them. To be saying anything they, that will not favor us. And their duty is to take their media to carry it so that the world will say, hey, this is what their elders are saying. We didn't call these people Eda. It was Nigeria government that projected them. And even give them name, Elite. We don't know them. If they ask us to send somebody to be appointed Minister of Labor, we will not appoint Ngigi from the Eastern region. Who is Ngigi?
to be re, to be recommended to be appointed no but this is his party right who are we to remember bonion is it because of abia tower you know ma? that will move us to tell Obonion that he should be to recommend Obonion to Nigerian government. No, we cannot do that. Did you understand? But these are their party right because if you join them to betray Jonathan, then after all, you will get your right. That's why you will not be beneficiary to your people because you were not sent by your people. It is your party right. But when the government comes, they say they have Igbo in their government too. They have Igbo. Which Igbo? Igbo we sent. Did we send them? These are people you pick by yourself. People comfortable to you. People you are sure that they can be betraying our people. That's the people you appointed. Why not allow us to recommend somebody to you to be appointed a minister? Right? MFL, they are Igbo so, but he destroyed our our money. Our hard earned money here within some months. MFA. Jeffrey Nyama, foreign affair. Where have he protected their friends in another country? Their size. So, because his father, Jeffrey Nyama, was a saboteur, a bit pure saboteur during the war. He was even the one that sold the look as a whole. He sold coal camp. That, uh, um, that place they call coal camp. And um, that uh, Ugo Nyama, that place you hear Ugo Nyama, that's who they sold all those places. That man, that uh, man, uh, uh, Geoffrey Nyama's father, that's why his son was um, recommended. Because if you watch them, you must be in the lineage of betrayers of our people before you be appointed. Did you understand? That's the problem they set in Adia now. And in Enuk, there is one governor. On the, Somebody they rigged in in Enugu. He have given land for Ruga to Fulani in Ehamufu. Did you understand? The land that belongs to five communities. We are coming for that man. He think he have arrived. Then they are threatening a lawsuit to accept. Or he will lose in court. This is what is going on now. After some people, they thought we are joking. When it will happen, they will know. When time come, now that Fulani is using the PDP candidate, right, in other states, that got second, they told him to go to court. Did you understand? Can you do this thing? He said, yes. It's okay. Go to court. When he go to court, Fulani now come to it and say, accept this thing. Accept this thing. Approve it. Or you know your case is in court. This is how they are threatening the lawsuit. This is how Fulani want to seize the mandate of Abias. They want to seize it now. They want to seize it. When this man goes in, that thing Abia expected, they will not be seeing it. They are using that um, that uh, PDP candidate, right? Okay, somebody. Okay, Ahiwe. Okay, Ahiwe. PDP governorship candidate in Abia is the latest instrument to enslave Abias now. Fulani told him to go to court. Fulani, Fulani is using the advantage that he's in court, threatening Oti to sign our lands out for Fulani. Be because the man have agreed he will do it for them. That Ngwa man, Joe, Joe Ahiwe, uh, Oke Ahiwe. Did you understand? And you know, unless it is a human being, they might pressure him that they are going to take away his governor from him as they took away that of Emeki Hedua and gave it to number four in Naimo. They are threatening unless it. Did you understand? That's why they seized the two results, these two states. Because they needed it. They needed the Nugu. They need Abia. Because they thought they have gotten him. So they want to put an number at the middle. They thought they have gotten him. So they want to uh, take over Enugu and take over Abia. And when they will say since this um this result, they were busy approaching the first and second, the first and second labor in Enugu. 
Labour um, PDP in Enugu. Labour in Abe, PDP in Abe. That's the people that we are approaching. Will you sign this thing so that they will call you? Without knowing, and you'll be responding to them without thinking that they are going to decide for the INEC. No. They were only holding it because confusion has come. So they will use that advantage and bring the candidates into agreement. Now, during that time they are holding the result, they are bringing Okahi with into agreement of Ruka. They are bringing a less with into agreement of Ruka. Right? Now, when the result comes out, they will now tell this man to implement it. They knew that anyone that wins, they are in a better position. If PDP wins, they are in agreement with him. If uh, um, uh, Labour wins, they are in agreement with him. Do you understand? So now, after they called you a winner, they now pressure you. You do like this because you are a less voting. You want to do, I don't agree, I don't agree. They now told okay, you will, or you go to court. He now went to court. They are now using his court now to pressure out. Understand what is happening in Abia. Abia, they want to put him Abia in jail again. Do you understand? They want to steal that mandate of Abia. They don't want anything that will favor you, Fulani. Now, I will use that opportunity to go to him. All this, um, this, you know, Labour Party brought a problem to many people. The people voted in unqualified candidates. In different parts, unqualified people that will go to the house and be looking like a fool, people that cannot say anything. Now, labor is where the criminals are now jumping in. Criminals are now jumping in. There is a one mother that they call um, Ogunewe, Ogunewe, right? Ogunewe, that man that. Um, the former army policy and um, what is it called? What is it called? He is now contesting for primary governorship, uh, primary. <laughs> Facebook cannot tell, cannot. <clears throat> they cannot uh, sustain the heat of uh, truth. They cut off the program, but we are back. They cut it off for saying the truth. I was leaking their secret in the program. Leaking their secrets, the politics they are playing in our state, in Enugu, in Nadia, in Imo. I was busy leaking their secrets and they started reporting the program. I was going deep, de destroying their planned secrets, their politics in our place. They cut it off. They cannot stand the heat. Then we move on free Nam they can. Facebook can back you. You have cut that one off. But we'll continue to disturb you. We will continue to disturb you and those that contracted you. What are we disturbing you with? The truth. Nam they can must be freed. Pantami is free. Walking. A terrorist sympathizer. A minister. Shakao is in Asorok, somewhere in Asorok, hiding. He did he die? What about the Chibok boys, uh, Chibok years? Where are they? Where is the Leah Shaib? Then you can keep on the kind of detention. While the works you are supposed to do, you don't do it. There are army, there are terrorists in the Nigerian army. Terrorists are in Nigerian police. Said not so that terrorists occupy it. Eighty-five percent of terrorists in Nigerian army. Ninety percent of terrorists in Nigerian custom. Seventy percent of terrorists in Nigerian road safety. Seventy percent of terrorists in Nigerian civil defense. Seventy-five percent of eighty percent of terrorists in Nigerian police. Seventy-five percent of terrorists in Nigerian air force. 70% of terrorists in Nigerian Navy and 100% of terrorists in Nigerian Asorok. Then what are you keeping Namdekan there for? What is the charges Namdekan is facing? When is the death of court of Namdekan? What is the warrant you are using legally to detain him 
after a pre court ruling. This remains the question. Is he under condemned criminal? CC? Si, si, no. He has not been convicted. He was discharged and acquitted. When you are being discharged and acquitted in the court, the warder will not come closer to you with handcuff. You are free to go around any place and the, you can even leave the waters there and go back to the prison yard yeah? and pack your goods or pack your properties. This is not even the start that you can call up the case tomorrow. This is not even dismissed. You can go to another court and say I didn't agree. This is not stroke out. This is not stroke off. This is not bail that you can revoke back. This is not strike out. This is discharged and acquitted. And it didn't end there. He said he is being prohibited from starting any trial in any Nigerian court. Then what we are asking them, who kidnapped Nam Khan in Kenya, Nigerian government? Who planned to bring him back, back here, Nigerian government? Who decided to announce to the world that is with them, Nigerian government? Then who chose a court to take his case to take his case to Nigerian government? Who appointed the judges? Nigerian government. Who owns the court? Nigerian government. Who prepared the charges? Nigerian Attorney General. Who is prosecuting the case? Nigerian Federal Council. Now, why who defeated them in court? Namde Khan. Was the court to be a frank court? No. Now, was that court in Ghana? No. Was it in South Africa? No. Every arms of this very, um, anything related to this case came from Nigeria. Even the lawyers of IPOB are Nigerian lawyers. No one, no, not Nigerian lawyers. Then how do we defeat them and they are keeping him? That is what we are asking. Is he under life imprisonment or what? Okay. Is there any charges against him? Then when is his date of court? Or is he on sin and die? Was he just reminded in a waiting trial in, by a magistrate court into a waiting trial? We don't know. Or is DSS his home? We don't know. Because they choose court. They told the word court. The very idiot wearing mask, sitting in Asura or claiming to be president, the idiot they call Buhari, is there, was there telling Boris Johnson that he, if you see what he did to this country, he said awful things. He would defend himself in court. Now they can't have defeated them in court, not a court. Then we ask them, what are they keeping him for? That is one thing we need to know. When is, is he facing trial? When is his date of court? Now, what warrant are you using to keep him in detention? Which detention warrant? Because anybody in detention must have a legal and um, a legal detention warrant. And there must be charges prepared against you. So, which charges is it the card facing? Then, what is keeping him? When is he going to court? Because we went to Supreme to challenge why he stayed there. So what is what is the Nigerian plan? What what are you planning? What are you thinking? What do you have in store? I, we want to know because this is very very important. Why we are saying this because Namdekano is not legally in detention. Understand this. Legally, he is not in detention. He is illegally in detention. Understand this. And what he is passing through about his health, Nigeria is just forcing him to be going through those things because the court have given him liberty to go and treat himself by deciding and acquitted him. If Nigeria is an individual that had a case within Namdekano, they have been convicted. The ruling of the appeal court convicted Nigeria. One, they condemned the way Namdekano was brought into Nigeria. That is conviction. Nigeria is guilty. But they were asked uh, to pay all this compensation because they are a country. Right? But come to individual, Nigeria is guilty. Which those that carried on this very extraordinary rendition individually, we will hold them. This is what they want to cover. Malami is guilty of the offense. Nigerian National Security Advisor is guilty, all of them. 
The Mongunu is good. The Kinabu Nambikan, they want to cover it with foul, foul play. You don't succeed while IPOB is here. But we are bringing it to the notice of Nigeria that the very election you brought in Nambikan in because of and to tarnish his image, that IPOB have destroyed those traps of election. Then, you have done your election, we are still here, we allowed you to do all, then what is still keeping in Namdekan? Remember Namdekan is demanding for the field. He never declared a war. But terrorists declare war, they are killing. How many of them are in detention? They are being recruited into the army. They are recruited into the police. Let me tell the British, earlier I told them, that the case of Onambekano will destroy the British citizenship um, card. They were joking. I told them because you will try to frustrate yourself, not even us. You will try by denying Onambekano his citizenship rights. But at the end, you will see that so many countries will no longer value British citizenship card. Time will come. That, your, that thing you used to threaten people with, it. you get a... UK passport. Very soon, countries will refer, when they want to give example of UK passport, they will refer to Nambikano's case. You know, we always, the case of issue of Nambikano and Biafra always keep something that doesn't go away. Now, you kill Giant Alakuku, British, two of us, from Umwele, Mbali Suji. Six feet, uh, 11 feet 6. Alakuku. You know, I want to remind you, the prophets, um, the people, our people, hard men, you have killed and succeeded. And tell you why you will not succeed in the time of Namdekan. He's not leading 12 disciples. Adam Akwama. Namdekan is not leading 12. He's leading multitude. Are, are you aware? And these people you killed, they only have fans. Now, Giant Alakuku, you were busy get, making money with him, using him as an animal. People pay and come and watch him, you put him in cage. If you want to parade him, you put him in Austin, taking him around the cities, collecting money, right? You never see such person on earth. So huge and tall. It, such person have never existed. These are special people. The British stopped this man from marrying. So that he will not give birth to his kind of people, this kind of person. Giant Alakuk. Gentle giant. Alakuk. Now, the same way these people, they killed, how Alakuk could die, the eyewitness came and she said that um, if you look at his face, as she was looking at the face of this man in the hospital, it looks like people hit him, like somebody that people beat, have beaten, or his body, you know, that's the British. After using him, they plan and killed him. They the like, Facebook, I know you caught this one. The same thing with the Dick Tiger. They called Dick Tiger on the cancer. 1971, he died in 1971. Isn't it? And you think you can kill an American? No. Namdekan is different because he's a prophet and he came to save his people. These people we are calling, you captured them earlier and started using them. We didn't benefit anything from them. You seize them. These are things given to us. The you seize him. He didn't give birth to children. He didn't marry. So that we will not get such person again. These are wickedness of the British. Have we not endured much in this Nigeria? Must we be forced into our death? And we said no. Anyone that comes up here, they will kill. Anyone that comes up here, they kill the tiger. They say it's cancer. Which cancer? Which cancer? Did you understand? Now, what we are asking Nigerians, are you relaxing as if you don't have case? Are you foolish? So you think a nation is a case? A nation is between Nigeria and Nigerians. The issue of Nambekan is between Nigeria and Biafra. Understand this. 
Your election is an internal issue. The issue of Fundam Dekan is not an internal issue. All of you must have this in your score. We are not joking with our freedom fighters. Fundam Dekan denounced Nigerian citizenship and returned back their passport to them, 2015. Understand this thing we are telling you. This is an, not an internal issue. You take election issue is eternal issue, it can be addressed among Nigerians. Namdekan is illegal in detention. There is nothing to entice us with. That is what we are telling you. Namdekan have no replacement. And we, IPOB, we did not come to try. We come to restore Biaf. These are the things we need to tell you that Facebook don't want you to hear. And they cut off my program. Even if you cut it five, five minutes, I will still come back again. But we cannot pamper those that are killing us. Bongunu is a terrorist. He committed terrorism against Namdekan. He planned for the kidnapping of Namdekan in Ken. He kidnapped him, he tortured him to death. He, he nearly killed him. And he didn't die, they brought him back here. Mongunu, National Security Advisor, the man that killed Ahmed Gulag. What was your anger? Because you killed Ahmed Gulag. And then Namdekan exposed it. Two of us, are you not the one that killed Ahmed Gulag? Mongunu? Then why did you went to Kenya? Don't you know that you committed treason against Namdekan? Uh, terrorism. That is it. After the ruling of the court, what was the outcome? Nigeria committed terrorism against Namdekan. And that's what the law says. Did you understand? But he defeated you. He is still committing more. He is legally freed. Now, even as you are illegally detaining him, you are still denying him access to his doctor. Even somebody that is convicted will have access to doctor. Convict. Convict. Even lifer. Somebody that is in CC, condemned criminal, takes treatment. They give condemned criminal their ration, daily food. You don't say they are condemned, you don't give them food. Go to CC block, go to those that are in CC. They have their ration. You give them one full plate of their beans that is not cooked pottage. Not, they don't cook their own pottage. You cook their beans naked like that. You put oil in a uh, red oil for them in one concom like that, right? Then their duty is to look for um, salt, right? And the pepper. Pour it to the oil and turn it. Or they cook it, uh, put it by themselves. Right? Now they have their rights. You will open them 8 a.m. in the morning. From their cells. So that they will come and throw away, do clean up before you lock them back by 1 p.m. or 2. In the prison yard. Those that are in life imprisonment and those convicts, their right is cease to cease, open out. Not outside the prison yard, in the compound of the prison. Even convicts. They have the right of two cigarettes every day, including their food. Even if they don't, you don't smoke, it is your right. You can give it to somebody. A convict, oh, convicts, they receive their food, their ration. Every day I'm awaiting trial, receive their ration. Everybody have access to a hospital. You have access. Somebody that has been condemned, CC, condemned criminal, can still go to hospital, they can still be treated. Hence, is not dead. You have, you have not killed the person. You will give him his ration. Talk more of Funam Dekan that have been severely disturbed in Nigerian court since, 19, since 2015 till today. Four discharges from Nigerian court. Four. None have been obeyed. Four discharges. Two is discharged unconditionally. Ademola and Johnson. One discharge and return back to Kenya. Federal High Court Omar. One is discharge and acquitted. How many victories do you want him to secure? 
Tell me the level of judgment you want to carry on and become. Then we ask you, even as condemned criminals have access to medication, how come a freed man, legally freed man, constitutionally freed man, Nandekan, that is now being incarcerated, still in solitary confinement, you deny him access to doctor. You deny him access to soap to take his bath. But the condemned criminals, they bath with soaps. Lifers, life imprisonment, they have bath with soaps. Even people in asylum cells, asylum, people that have mental problems that are in prison, yeah, they bath with soap. They take their drugs. Convicts, they take medications while serving their jail time, jail term. How come an innocent Namdekan cannot have access to his doctor, even as being discharged and acquitted? When condemned criminals have access to medication, if you will ever kill him, because at times the release can carry him, you can go to appeal, appeal will bring it back to 10 years. You can go to appeal, appeal will bring it to life and condemn, destroy the condemn and bring him back to life, a life imprisonment. From there, from life, you can go to appeal, appeal will trash it and give him 50 years imprisonment. They have access to medication. You give them their food daily. You don't deny them any of their rights. Condemn criminals in CC blocks. Condemn criminal in condemned criminal blocks have access to, they will get their food, no matter, they will get open up, 8 a.m. in the morning, they will be opened from their cell. The cell will be open. Go to this, go to prison, maximum prisons, like uh, in Water, Potaka prison, it is maximum. They have CC block. You go to Calabar, it is maximum. They have maximum prison. You go to Enugu, they have maximum. In other, there is no maximum. All they have is a minimum. You go to Imo, it is minimum. No maximum. You go to Boy, it is minimum. No maximum. You go to Delta, you go to Guachuku. These are maximum prisons. You get CC blocks. And not all of them have Galu. Galu. Where you kill condemned criminals. Not all of them. And uh, in this maximum prison, you have even juvenile. Juvenile cell, we are uh, uh, under age, have been detained. Everybody have their rights. Those in asylum cell, those that will be normal and came in, when they came, small time, they will run mad, they will be transferred to asylum cell. They still get their medication. You will not say they are mad, you don't give them their food. You condemn somebody, you have not killed him, you will be giving him food. If the person is sick, you will treat the person. The same thing you do to fowl. You know you cook the fowl, you will kill the fowl when it grows. You will be feeding the fowl. Don't like somebody sees it blocked. But it doesn't work like this now because they say they're in democracy. This time around, life a condemned criminal will go appeal. Or sometime, both of mercy will come and bring them down to life. That is how it is done. Or they carry, carry, them, carry them out from CC direct to home. But to dissolve some issues in CC, they bring them to life. You can, the, gov the governor can still come back six months time and bring the person down to 10 years imprisonment. When condemned criminals have access to medication, when condemned criminals receive their food, daily food, rations, when condemned criminals even protest, if you don't give them their right, they protest in the prison yard, they can reject your food. The protests of inmates are only on their food. They reject your food. That is their protest. That is how you protest in prison. Yeah? Did you understand? I know why. That's why Facebook called the program. But I love this one. Where we just started this one. It didn't join with the other program. Let this program, they see it as a special. We know everything. We, we know, that is why we are complete. We know everything, everything. 
If I don't know this one, the other one you bring, one of us know it. Anyone you do, one of us know it. And that's why we are complete in IPOV. It's not one manifold. But we know everything. If I don't know it, the other one know it. But talk about Nigerian prison or detention or their court proceedings. You cannot tell me anything about it. Though I stop in Pamari 4. You cannot. What are you going to tell me? You see what is happening in record in the prison? Or what is happening in welfare? Or what is happening in asylum? Or in doc in hospital? If you go to a Nukuma small prison, there is um, a hospital there. They have church. They come for that. They come every Sunday to hold their mass. They have Pentecostal. They have mosque. Everything is there. That is how it is. That you are a condemned criminal does not mean if you are sick, they will not give you medication. Talk more of another kind of that have been legally freed. You deny him access to his doctor. You don't give him medication. You don't give him soap to take his bath. You demand for something. You deny him. Even as you are supposed to be betting him, to be negotiating with him, with the betting. If you are in the United States, you will try to be betting him. He has defeated you. Not torturing him upon illegal detention. Keeping him in solitary confinement. Still denying him access to doctor. Even as he's illegally detained in DSS custody. And you think we are not recording this? Imagine me that stop in primary four. Imagine what our people that stop in, that finish their university. What they'll present to you. I, I want to know, how are you going to escape this? If we that are in this level, we knew these things. This is why we are bringing this to you. We are not 12 disciples. That you arrest their master. All of them run inside the house so, and waiting for the Pentecost day. This is IPOB. A mass movement. The largest in the world. We are not 12, mind you. Even the 12, they have weapons. But they were instructed not to use it. Are you aware? Even the disciples of Jesus, they have weapons. They have matches. Peter have two. He told those that don't even have, they should say their coat or their shoe and get at least one. In case you don't know that we knew these things. Let us go back to them. What is Namikanu facing? What are his charges? 2015, he was charged for treasonable felony. He defeated you by being discharged two times and you insisted and they granted him bail upon unconditional release by Ademola and Johnson. Even as Adem, um, Ahmed Mohamed rejected the case that have already been discharged by two courts. But Binta accepted it because she is married to a criminal and they gave birth to a criminal. They are facing criminal charges. You know, they are facing criminal charges and they want to replace it with Nam Dekanu because the wife also, which is Aita, uh, Bin Tanyako, is a criminal who granted high conditional bail to a man that the same level of court, the same level of her court, federal high court, federal high court, Abuja, Abuja, John Soho and Ademola, the same federal high court, Abuja, Bin Tanyako, the same federal high court, Abuja, and two federal high court decided Nam Dekanu unconditionally, and they had she, on her own federal high court, she now granted high conditional bail on a, the same on the same matter as as to show you how criminal their family is. The family of Britain. The husband is a thief. The son is a thief, facing criminal charges, and she's a judiciary criminal, a judicial criminal, the woman, judicial criminal. Facebook, are you listening? Somebody that it was decided by the same level of court, to federal high court, federal high court, two, and they have own federal high court is different, to grant an American high conditional bail. Three months short with the land is in Abuja, not ordinary Abuja, my tama around a city where you get a like property of 800, 1 billion, 800 million, 1 billion, 2, mil, 2 billion, 1.7 billion land these properties. And they not just ordinary bell, that one of them should be a senator. And they not a senator from anywhere, uh, anyhow place, but must be from their side. 
And the businessman in Abuja, Bilonia, and the Jewish rabbi, imagine the conditional bell, high conditional bell, three months short with these levels. Not three months short with three years tax clearance. No, only. Or self bell. Because Namdekanu should be granted self bail, having been discharged unconditionally by two federal high court judges. He should be granted self bail, not conditional bail. Talk about of high. Did you understand? It will go back. We must continue. So that is it. Nigeria is a terrorist country. They keep calling innocent people terrorists. And you force us to the court. We defeated in your court. Then what are you keeping us now in detention? You are supposed to be betting in Amdika to see if he can give you a very favorable option. At least if beneficial, you can benefit a little. But you are bringing your hard man which you have shown to the court. You showed it from Kenya. You did everything. You brought him back here. You sent David to our land. The army started killing us, trying to provoke us. Why do we focus in the court? To know where you're taking our leader to. That is our mission. They started killing us. They built all kinds of propaganda. The governors gave them free hand because they were involved in the kidnapping. The governors have an um, agreement holding them together. Therefore, anything can happen in their place. That is our land. They are free. They can't say anything because they are into agreement. And they are all fraudsters. ELCC have anything possible to hold them. Right? They have something in their hand to hold any of the governors. So that's why Fulani will always bring them into agreement so that they will always threaten them with disagreement when they are crossing boundaries. Right? And IPOB is different. That is why they are angry our radio is not under their NBC, which can be controlled by Lai Mohammed. Today, they are regretting why they kidnapped Namdekan. Then we ask you, these are two times you have kidnapped Namdekan. He won you in all the cases. These are people that told the world Namdekan is going to face his case. And Namdekan is going to, uh, he, 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 to stand his trial. To stand his trial. Which warrant? I keep asking them. The trial you told the world. Which trial? That when I tell you to kidnap him, he jump in, isn't it? As you give him allegation. But oh my God, to say he did not jump in. He escaped military association attempt. The lawyers, the, the judge said, with the evidences before the court here, evidences presented to the court by Enam de Kano. Did you understand? Shows that he did not jump bail. He escaped military association attempt. Now, but let us just keep that aside. Then, where is the warrant you told the world Enam de Kano jump bail? He need to come and face did you present it in court? No. The warrant you are you were telling the world is the warrant you granted in bail on in 2017. Is that not the warrant? Then why were you not in the hands to present it in court? In the same court of Bintanya, you went there, you trampled the, the warrant down, you started bringing amended charges. That is to say, you didn't prepare. Your target was to kill him in Ken. You didn't have any case for him. You only force yourself to the court. That's why you are doing small children something. You, we are playing villain, that is a small children ball. The score, the other one said, no, I don't agree. I don't agree. The other one will go and use his leg and remove the, the post. You know, it's always stone or a stick. You got to remove it. He said, I don't agree. I don't agree. As if the post was not there when the goal went. It was there now. So if you remove the post now, then the goal will be counted out. Do we play without uh, the post being complete? The post was there. Then to show you, uh, you don't agree. You don't agree is not an argument. Any argument after the argument in court, you are still making another ordinary argument. After 
the argument in court. We want the argument. Now we cannot want the argument. Then which other argument are you doing in backyard in the in DSS? Who are you now arguing with? We argued with you in the presence of learned people. Happy court judges, panel of judges. They look into the argue, argument, they saw that you came with nothing. And they decided not to become unconditional um, and acquitted him. You are still arguing in this sense. Who are you arguing with? Are you arguing with Namdekano that have been discharged? Or are you arguing with DSS and Malami? I, I don't want. There was an opportunity to argue in court. Then we argued. We won. You went back and started saying, uh, interpreting the ruling of the court. So, Malami, you didn't get any grant in the court, but you have grant in your office. But you took the case to court. You, after winning, you, you went back home and started argument in your house. Who are you arguing with? Hey, it was the judge. Hey, it was not acquitted. Did you obey this judge? Talk more of acquit. Did you obey this judge? The, the judge you agreed. Did you obey it? The answer is no. Then, um, what argument are you raising? Is it a, can DSS argue? Are they judges? Are they lawyers? They can't. Have, so, who are we going to argue? When is it now the Kano's case, case coming up? When is date of court? He don't have case. He don't have date of court. Then, which warrant are you keeping him there in with? He don't want. He don't have any valid detention warrant because the appeal court really nullifies any warrant you may present. Then, why did you not challenge Nam Kano with the warrant you granted him bail on? Started from 2015 to 2016, 2017, which was treason charges, treasonable felony charges. Then you come up with 20, in 2021 with terrorism charges. What are the terrorism answers unknown government that was carried on by Nigerian police and Nigerian army? Unknown government. Then we ask you, why did you lie to the world that he jumped in? But when you brought him back from Kenya, you didn't bring the, you didn't present the warrant he was uh, granted bail on, which you say he jumped bail. You hide it. Then why did you, why are you liars? Now, even the new one you thought you used to jail Nam Kano, the new warrant, he destroyed it. You came up with six amended countries. A Jofan, his lawyer, his team of lawyer, destroy it. You came up with seven. A Jofan, his team of lawyer, destroy it. You came up with 15. Then them and the Zokome, they destroyed eight. They destroyed seven. And they went to appeal to destroy the remaining eight. And they went to appeal and they crushed it. A Zokome crushed it. Sam, right? Now the court also discharged him and acquitted him. What are you now keeping him for? The worst is denying him his fundamental human rights upon the illegal detention. That is the worst. Then, what are Nigerians thinking about this? Or do they still think they have a country? So, you think that your election is important than your constitution? No, we want to know. Are you dragging the election again when you don't have constitution? Senators will make laws, House of Rep members will make laws, but one idiot appointee, Malami, will be in office and nullify the laws. Do you have a content? The same constitution that established a P court, the same constitution that established federal high courts, the same constitution that established state high courts is the same constitution that established um, that is uh, where you will see electoral acts. The constitution that approved voter card, the constitution that approved um, electorates, the constitution that approved the candidates, the, the same constitution. Now, you are now dragging them to follow the constitution, to obey the electoral act. But your constitution has been truncated already by Malami, which you ignored because it concerns Namdekano. Then, 
where do you want to get your ground from when court orders have already been a doctrine in Nigeria? Terrorism is a doctrine because you cannot call Nigeria without terrorism. That is to say, terrorism must be part of the country, um, must be part of the country. Disobedient to court order is part of Nigeria existence. Right? Then, rigging of election is part of Nigeria existence. Nigeria cannot exist without rigging election. Nigeria cannot exist without disobeying court order. Nigeria cannot exist without having terrorists terrorist in their government. Can you understand? Facebook, are you getting more angry? <laughs> you want to cut this one? Uh, maybe you, you people don't even know how we pray. We are not 12 disciples. Do you understand? That is one thing you must know. We are number your securities. We are more than anything. You can bring in numbers, all your security. We are more than them. And we are volunteers anyway. Maybe you don't understand. Those who are security, they are working for their salary, not to they love Nigeria. They don't benefit from Nigeria. If you ask the police, say, what will I be working? That is to say, they are not defending Nigeria. They are just working. No Nigerian security is defending Nigeria. They are just working. They saw it as their occupation. Do you understand? If you tell them, they say, yes, we know what you are saying is bad, but uh, which work will I be doing? That is the statement of Nigerian security. Not that, no, I am here to defend my country. No, it is their occupation. Do you see why you cannot fight us? Okay, show us how many people that are media broadcasting about Nigeria. This is one step you must take first before you compare fighting with IPU. How many Nigerians voluntarily are defending Nigeria like us with their data without having connection with the Lorito Energy? No, we want to know. No, what you can recruit are people that will be preaching against Biafra. You cannot recruit people that will preach for the success of Nigeria, for the protection of Nigeria. How many people can broadcast for the protection of Nigeria? Then what kind of country is that? You can never see citizens defending your country. Only criminal politicians can defend their country because it is a country of crime. Then we come back to them with the equation that have been destroying their brain. If condemned criminals in Nigerian CC blocks, that is condemned criminal blocks, that is if they have as if they can have access to medication while be, uh, even as they are condemned, right? They still have access to medication. Condemned criminals have access to their foods, daily foods. First and second, right? On Sunday, they will give them three times. Beans in the morning, rice in the afternoon, and the garlic in the evening. On Sundays and on Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday in prison yard, three times a day. But Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, Thursday, two times a day. Beans in the morning, garlic in the evening. Then that day they give them three times. They will shut it from the garlic. If the day they give you two meal, they will give them two cups of um, garlic. But the day they give them three times, they will take the one cup of garlic and shift it to rice. So you will now be served one cup of rice, and uh, one cup of garlic that day, then one cup of rice. Right? Then the day they will not give you three times, they will give you two cups of garlic. Beans is sure. Did you understand? Now, but that of the CC, their own ration is more, is a big ration. That prison plate, they must fill, they will fill it beans. Their beans will not be cooked, pot, uh, potage beans, no. They will cook it normal dry, no water. They will put their uh, red oil in one something and keep it upon the beans. 
on top of the beast. They will serve the whole condemned criminal their food in the morning. In the afternoon, they will give them, some of them will book dry garden. Imagine, they make decision. They make decision. They book dry gare. Either you bring them dry gare on their ration. Those that want them to do the gare in the kitchen, right, to boil it hot water, they will allow it. But if you don't want it, you will need the dry gare. You will still book it and need dry gare. Imagine condemned criminal making choice. Condemned criminal in Nigerian prison making choice. You open them 8 a.m., lock them back 1 or 2 p.m. But now the cannon that have been discharged unconditionally um, and acquitted have no access to his, not free access to lawyers anyway. Is it because uh, they are not free access? Lawyers, you manage one one. Which we are, if you go to visit, if three people come for you, they'll visit you once. That's how it is done. It is your right. And you'll be, you have the right to come for Sunday. Are you sure they are bringing Namdekan out for Sunday so that you will not be blind? It is your right. It is your right. You will come out for Sunday. They might choose two times in a week for Sunday. You must come out so that someone will touch you. It is the right of somebody in detention. Do you know that convicts have the right, the, the, the right of two secrets? You give them, if they don't need it, they will take it, they will give it to somebody. It is their right. Unless people that don't even know, and the others are eating it. You serve them their food. Talk more of Namdekan that have been discharged. He is very sick. You that disobey court order, you say you are treating him. How can somebody that disobey court order be treating Namdekan? What kind of treatment you give him that he cannot give himself when he is freed? So, you detain him to treat him. Are, are you mad? What does Nigeria have? People that travel their present abroad. He's treating them the kind of DSS. Meaning what? You don't allow somebody to eat what he wants to eat. You say you are treating him. The first treatment is to allow somebody to eat what is he wants to eat. That's the first treatment. That is what grows um, all the servant boy boy. If you allow them to take their money for food, go and decide at the mama put. Madam Tia Bees, it's here, Kanta. It's your macaroni, it's your spaghetti. You put it. They value it more than the uh, madam soup. That uh, Oga wife soup. It is a rich soup, but they don't want to eat it. It's better you give him the money, chop bread at the Accra. He will be okay because that is a choice making. They go to mama put. The main choices of meat, now it's like that they'll bring it. No, I don't like it too, but I'm the apple. That is what gives them joy. You may give them three meat in the house. It does, he's not hungry of that your soup, though he's a rich soup. So just the same with the that is freedom. Freedom. You cook soup, better soup, everything, but I want to drink it. You say, no, I have good soup. No, that soup you can't give me that. Allow me to drink the curry that is hungry me. How can DSA that does not allow Namdekan to go? They don't allow him to, they don't buy him uh, what he demands. They don't care. They sack a doctor that want to diagnose him. They sack him. They turn around, they say they are treating him in DSA. The person must be mad. Which medicine are you going to give Namdekan that is greater than his freedom? Okay. First treatment is to eat what your body needs. Do you give him that treatment? No. So you want to give him a treatment in DSS. When you don't give him food his body needs, you don't allow him to sow, where, which he need to bath with. You don't even allow him to uh, banana or granite. Ordinary things, but you will now treat him. What, 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 what kind of rubbish? He is not in detention legally. He's illegally in detention. But people that are legally in detention, they have access to medication. Even condemned criminals, you will treat them. Hence, you have not killed them. You must treat them. Did you understand?
there are clinics in prison here. Those in life, life imprisonment, you, treat, you give them treatment. You give them their ration. That is daily food. You open them by 6 a.m. to lock them by 6 p.m. That is the right of convicts. But a uh, condemned criminal, you open them 8 a.m. Lock them 1 or 2 p.m. day. Right? Then a waiting trial on Sunday. Sunday. You open them, those that have the right, not every day that all a waiting trial mates have the right to be to go for Sunday. Sunday is once or two times a week. The sun will beat you. At DSS, that did not allow Namdekan to take granite or milk um, or banana. Do they allow him for Sunday? Do you allow Namdekan for Sunday? That is his right. Someone must touch him. It is the right of those in detention. Did you understand? There are hospital clinic in detention with the uh, warders, doctors. The doctors there are warders. In water they have everything. The nurses there are warders. They work shifting. Then, who are they there for? For the inmates. How come somebody that has been disturbed have no access to lawyer, to doctor, have no access to medication, have no access to common banana, have no access to granato, have no access to buffing soap? But to condemn criminals have access to these things. Are you sure our people are sharing this program? We are sending a strong message to them to know we know what we are doing. Did you understand? They have come again. They have come again. We move. Thank you. Thank you. We are telling them the truth that they don't want people to hear. Do you understand? They don't want people to hear. If you see how they are disturbing those, they deploy it in my, my page. They are disturbing them now. Now, I got this program now. Got this program. That's what Lai Mohammed and Ray Thomas is sending to them. They have got the other one. They push them, they caught the other one. I come back again. And this one is a headache to them. <laughs> they don't know how prepared we are. Can you give me Nigeria and I'm out and shame Tell me, can you catch on him? I know she didn't do that. Why are you never since? We have been here now. Is it not the same Nigeria we try to manage with you? That doesn't work. We are always a victim. Is that not the Nigeria? That full and are the only citizens. Is that not done? Is it a different Nigeria? This is a Nigeria we knew very well. Thank you. Anybody that comes, they, they will kill. Anybody that comes in, they will kill that person. Right? Anyone that God gives to us, they will kill. And this time around, you can't kill us in the name of Nigeria. That is what we decide. We cannot die in the name of Nigeria. We cannot. Kill us in the name of Biafra. We have died in the name of Nigeria that have nothing to do with us. It doesn't benefit us nothing. We have become wise with Nigeria. We have seen people that are appointed, people that have nothing to give to us, people we don't nominate, people of their choice. That's the people that appoint. The thing happening here is that we are not interested in Nigeria. We were only following them up to see if it will work. But after the 100 years, we saw that... Um, British was even interested in, is interested in killings of the indigenous people. So that they will cover up the 100 years agreement that have expired in 2014. How can people make an agreement and there will be the people that will be preaching the one Nigeria. British made an agreement of amalgamation 
that um, will last 100 years. But there are the people that send their cattle line to be preaching one Nigeria, going from traditional ruler to traditional ruler, preaching one Nigeria, telling you Nigeria is indefensible. But they are in possession of the amalgamation agreement. So everything about British is fraud. Both amalgamation agreement is fraud. If it is not fraud, why do you keep sending ambassadors here instead of sending peacekeeping delegates? Did you understand? Thank you. You are supposed to send peacemaking delegates that will only come to review the amalgamation agreement. That's what we expected from the British. 1st January 2014. Because Nigeria was um, created at the 1st of December 1914, which ended 31st of December 2013. That is to say, all the killings in Nigeria, while British was preaching one Nigeria from 2014 to today, British should be held responsible. They sponsor the killing. Do you know why? They are in possession of the amalgamation agreement, even in their embassy in Abuja, which they kept sending ambassadors. Then, why do they keep pampering the one Nigeria? Because they want people to be killed. This is something they knew that have expired. Then you ask yourself, who have been killing people? Is it not the people that preach the one Nigeria? That is them. Then who preaches one Nigeria? British. What was the work of Katrina Land? Preaching one Nigeria and instigating one Nigeria. Then instigating the killings of the owners of the land. Then you ask them, are they not to be held, resp held responsible in all the killings in Nigeria because since, since 2014, because the Nigeria have expired under their watch and their imposition with the amalgamation agreement. Then why do they keep sponsoring killings? British. Then we still come back to you. If the Nigerian have not expired, why did you deny Nandekanu his citizenship rights? Because you know that the British embassy in Nigeria is just illegal. How, why is it legal? Illegal. Because now British is with the amalgamation agreement, which expires 100 years. So why are they keeping embassy and sending ambassadors to the same place that they amalgamated and said it will last 100 years, which is now 108 years plus? Other countries that they have their embassies here are free because the British reinstatement and um, um, sending of their ambassador, ambassadors here means that those country, other countries are free to send the ambassadors. But if British withdraw their ambassador and send peacekeeping delegates that have, will come to review a negotiation agreement in a round table with those that they trapped into their prison called Nigeria. This is British prison in Africa. Do you understand? It is a prison. Any citizen of Nigeria is, a prison, is in prison, British prison. So why do they not bring them together on the round table as they wrote? Did you understand? Now, if you say that you are in Nigeria and you are not in prison, then tell me why you always have accidental discharge of the police that kills you. Okay, you are not in prison. <laughs> why do they kill you when you come out to protest? This is a British prison. Even people that are in prisons in abroad, they are better than you. Than you, because you cannot shoot them anyhow in that prison. But you that is a Nigerian, a Fulani man can come and kill you. Are you a true of us? Fulani will react out with the AK for some true of us. Then are you not in prison? You go to court, court will give a ruling, you will not be, the, the court order will not be obeyed. Are you not in prison? No, tell me what is different from you, a prisoner. So we are all, everybody that is a Nigerian is a, in British prison. You are an inmate, British inmate in Nigeria. Do you understand? Thank you. So that is what we are saying. 
Are you better than a premado in the prison? No. His own half term of terms of jail. Those they jailed in abroad. They have a Nigerian prisoner, a British prisoner here. Because every Nigerian citizen is a British prisoner. You have no term jail, no jail term. You are just living any day you die, you take. That is, you are you are in life imprisonment. Every citizen of Nigeria is in life imprisonment. A, a, in British life imprisonment. Are you know, not aware? <laughs> okay, how many Fulanis have been facing trial? Have stood trial in any court? Then are they not the people killing you? I'm asking you now. They will come and kill community. They will kill. Uh, none of them will stand trial. And you are laughing at somebody that uh, they jail 15 years in abroad, or 20 years, or 25 years. That one can know, he can be counting his jail term. As a Nigerian citizen, your jail term has no expired date. You are just in life jail. Life jail, you can be killed at any time. You can be poisoned at any time. DSS can kidnap you at any time. Police can kill you at any time because they are all terrorists. DSS terrorists, police terrorists, army terrorists. They open their own. We have evidence. I can ask Lai Mohammed. Lai Mohammed, what do you tell us? That they are being recruited into the army and police. They are repented. But you said they came from foreign. So where is the agreement you made with their countries that they are citizens that have been terrorizing you, killing you, that they will now turn to Nigerian citizens and they will be working under your security, in your security. Can you present your agreement with the Niger Republic government to bring their citizens that are terrorizing, that have massacred indigenous peoples in their homes? Uh, then can you present it? What gave them crime to become the Nigerian Army of Police? What about Chaldeans? What about Sudan? What about Burkina Faso? What about Mali? Those of their citizens, do you make agreement with their country? Their says no. Then how come you tell me that this place is not a prison? Somebody, where you have 90% of terrorists in the custom, they are free to open the border anytime for terrorism to come in. Now, where terrorists will kill the whole people in the village and none of them will stand trial. Tell me a prison where you come and kill and you go free. You don't kill people in prison. Prison is a safe place for somebody. But Nigeria is not a safe place. So if the prison is better than Nigeria. Prisons, you can, you can kill somebody in police station in the night. You see prison. Hence, you go there, you are safe. But in Nigeria, you are not safe. <laughs> are you aware? Chineke, no, no, no. Life jail. We are in life jail. Everybody is in life jail. British life jail. <laughs> That's why Kadena Line will keep visiting their warders. You know, all those Nigerian officials, they are warders. Uh -huh. You are a politician, you are a warder, working in the British prison. All of them are warder officials, you know. Whether you are a senator, you are a warder official, British official, you are working in their prison yard, you know. Uh -huh. All of the governors are warders taking care of chief warder. You know, they have chief disciplinary officer in prison yard, chief warder. They have um, that chief disciplinary officer will be sharing work after parade, right? Uh, they have record, they have welfare. So all these things are in the prison. So if you are in any position here in Nigeria, you see yourself as if you are not in prison, no? There are churches in prison, there are mosques in prison. Yara do I work, uh, approve mosques in prison. Musa Yara do I, not Omar, right? When he was in detention, he approved mosques. He said he complained about where he would be praying. So because of him, they approved mosque in all the prisons in Nigeria. Are you aware? <laughs> Chris Ngige, were you not a prison doctor? Chris Ngige, when you was a prison doctor, don't you give medicine to condemn criminals? Then how come now the colonel that have been discharged, he don't have access to medication? I ain't got about me. I feel behind it because superior argument. Do you understand? Thank you.
continent. So that is the message you bring to them. I cannot be happy. That's why we need to clear the image of IPOB to make sure our status remains. That very status of how we started, peaceful approach. Because that is the image that, the, that attracts international bodies. Do not corrupt that image that we suffered to, to build, which have been given IPOB leadership boldness to approach any country in the world, that peaceful approach. Do not join enemy to corrupt that name. There are different groups, there are different organizations, there are different religious organizations in Biafra land and from Biafra land. They are independent on their own, but IPOB is a freedom fighter, fighting movement. We are the umbrella that covers everybody. Do you understand? Now, the name IPOB should be guided, whether you are IPOB or not IPOB. This is things our people must understand. Anywhere you see people try to blackmail IPOB, defend the IPOB, what are they trying to remove? They want to remove your roof. IPOB is the roof. Our people in Lagos, we are the roof. We are the only shed they can have. We are the only protector you can have. In the north, we are the only. In abroad, we are the only. But your organizations exist. You have chairmen. You have leaders. But when the upper hand come after you, as they hate us, they bring it on you, IPOB will come as an umbrella. Do you see why we are important to you? Do you understand? They come after your church, IPOB will come. Anywhere they come, we are the umbrella. That is to say, without IPOB, you have no voice. The press release of your organization is not powerful. No organization voice is more powerful in the whole, in the whole of, no voice of any organization in the whole of Africa can be compared with IPOB press release. Now, do you see why you must defend your roof as somebody from the Eastern Legion? Do not be deceived to fight the only protection you have. Do you know why they, when they call PWB, they call IPOB? They want to test, they want to know how related we are with P2B in his presidency. They have been looking. There are things they want to do to P2B. But their fear is that if you do this, then IPOB will come. Because we fight all battles that concerns us. Even as we are not politicians, we are not with the, we are not doing, we did not do 2023, but they are still afraid of IPOB on their approach to P2B. Now, their mind is telling them that most of the strength of P2B that is pushing him is IPOB. These are foundation we build. But we don't have any hand there. But they knew that we are human rights of our people. Do you see how they take us? They knew that whether it concerns us or not, hence you go eat against, IPOB will come in. Do you understand? This is the fear then. Though OB, OB is doing Nigerian presidency, but there are things they don't want to do to him when they know that IPOB will come in. They knew IPOB for this, for fighting for everybody. They knew it. We don't care. Do you understand? Not only Obi, some Nigerians, there are things the Fulani want to do, they will avoid IPOB. Not that it must concern Biaf, but people of Nigeria don't even know that some things they don't do you because IPOB is on media, we will expose it. We don't have boundary of exposition. Whether it concerns us or not. No, we are supposed to evil. That's why when Namdekan condemned how Jonathan handled his presidency, how he handed it over to Kato Liara, he said, Jonathan, you are um, imbecilic. Jonathan, you are very stupid. Jonathan, Jonathan, you would have informed PDP you are not ready so that patience will take over and contest. Right? Now, after all these things, the first of all, I gave him 
they first of all started to probe him. They were going around him, going around him, trying to arrest him. We move. Go on, you the money. I got him busy now. Later. Do you understand? When they came to kidnap Tare Jonathan, the same man they can that condemns how he handed over. Why are you attacking the program Facebook? How he handed over power to Fulani? The same man they can warn Nigeria. Nobody should arrest Jonathan. Nobody should touch Jonathan. Did you understand how we fight? He said, we have the right to blame him because we sent him there. We voted for him. But because we are blaming him, does not give a not an right to come and arrest him. Though we are not defending him from corrupt, being to, from facing his corruption, if he is corrupt. But you must first of all go after other head of states. You go after Salama Abubakar. You go after Babangida. They are still alive. You go after Abbasanjo. They are still alive. Then you go for Omar Odiko, though he wasn't a prefect, he stole. Aisha Buhari stole. Then uh, Yusuf Buhari stole money. So before you it will reach to the turn of Jonathan, you might have so many people might have been in prison. But for you to leave those place, those people, you turn around to get Jonathan. Now the Kano said no. Do you see how we judge? Do you see how we fight? We condemn his evil. But the enemy came to take him, we said no. Do you understand? Now, they came for Peshe and Jonathan. Our leader said, Peshe and Jonathan is a no-go area. She's our mother. Ngozo Konjiwala is no-go area. She's our mother. Desana Madeke, Stella Odua, do not touch them. Do you see? He said, they are our mothers. We sent them, we have the right to blame them, but you, Nathana, you don't have the right to arrest them until you arrest other Nathanas. So, we, as the umbrella of the people, and the, the only hope of the people, You need to protect IPOP, even in our absence. Hence, you are from the eastern region. When it will come to you in a badan, only IPOP that they will be waiting to hear their voice. When they bring their trouble against you in Kano, they will watch the comment section and see what IPOP is saying. When they tackle you in Borunu, go to the news, go to the comment section. They are reading it and know what IPOP is doing. Is saying that they are after what we say. They knew that you have been controlled by those they appointed, but those people they appointed cannot control IPOB. Therefore, we are independent from controlling from anything politics, right? So nobody has the right to control us. That is why you must defend IPOB. You know, when we are telling you, you think that is the only thing you have. All the Nigerian security are under control of Fulani. Nobody, can, they, if they want to kill you now, they cannot take the security to guide you. They are in charge of the security. Just like governors, if they want to kill them, they will control the security. But you don't control IPOB. Do you understand? That is to say, do not allow people to turn you and say, hey, IPOB, IP, IPOB is the only, that is why they come against us. The only thing that can save you. Whether you believe in Biafra or not, as far as from Eastern region, when we are defending everybody in Lagos, we are defending all the East, but the name presenting is Igbo. Did you understand? We defend all the Easterners. That is what we are doing. Now, when we are bringing out the good things in our land, we are bringing things out from Akwaibom, things in Calabar, things in Bayesa, our developed places in Rivers. There are good things there in Delta. This is our land. 
right? So, as our people are coming back from Lagos, we're encouraging them to occupy Akwaibo, to occupy Cross River, to occupy Bayes, to occupy Rivers, to occupy Delta. We do not tell them to occupy Elugu alone. That's why we expose these places because these are our lands. Do you understand? When they blackmail IPOB and tell you to join them to blackmail IPOB, you don't know what you are doing. Now they can't say anything that Fulani is against, that thing is good. But anything they lost, that thing is evil. Did you understand? So that is how we fight and we'll continue to fight so in truth and in honesty. Now the gun must be free. But make sure you remain on the line. People are guiding the line. If you force yourself out of the line, do not blame anybody. These things we have told you, all the posts our people have been making, these most of the things will be brought back when our leader will be out. We'll be doing reposting. We'll be doing reposting. Therefore, you have no excuse because we told you. You don't have to go and tell our leader you don't know. Because that very instruction has been there. You don't tell him, I don't know, I thought, I thought. There is nothing like I thought. Because if we are holding gun in the bushes, fighting the enemy, you would have been caught my child. Even you will not be there. Our leader cannot meet you. But you, the only court marshalling we do is expelling. We expel you or uh, suspend you. Suspending you is keeping you in that room. But court marshalling you and ending you up is expelling you. That is to say, you still be alive. If we are in gun battle, do you think uh, you'll be expelled? You have you will now turn back and be fighting us. You don't know what happened to Sabotas. You don't know. In the battlefield, you don't know. So you think they come back alive. They don't come back alive. But we keep you alive because we are in self-determination. We expel you. That is setting you free from cage. From the stupidity of IPOB. From foolishness of command and control. We always set people free. So that the foolish one will continue. If you cannot be foolish and stupid like us, when they command you, you obey. Even when you have good things in mind to say, you obey. Then you are not, you can't walk with us, you can't fight with us. Because we don't have time to come and start uh, bring one agenda, everybody will now be contributing. Even one year, we have not finished an agenda. That's why when you bring it as a suggestion, they will take it inside the house in that um, the literate of state, they will look into it, bring it out, give us good results. Not that you are not wise, but on the process of you allowing everybody to debate on it, it will waste our time while the enemy is approaching. Then you take it to the house where few wise men, men are choosing people that are handling different positions there. They will handle it look into it, bring it out, and tell you what to do. Not that you are not wise. It is your suggestion that they are using in that place. But your anger is that they don't use it the way you said it, or that they don't mention your name, that you are the one who brought this idea. No, now. No, it doesn't happen. And that is why you get frustrated. Did you understand? If you see what we are doing, you know that if it is of power or by wealth or something, we are not supposed to be here. So these things supposed to be surprising to you. How are we succeeding? Then when you see that after all the battle, we go front. After all the battle, we succeed. After It, it doesn't matter. It will look as if we will be defeated. But you see us as the top. That is one thing that will encourage you to remain in the line. Knowing that the spirit in charge of this struggle is very, very powerful. But we will always expect the snake to bite us. You know, if you go to the book of Exodus, 
when Israelites was going in the wilderness journey. This thing is what I want to bring to the notice of our people. People have been deceived with this, and people are still being deceived with this. And I want to analyze. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'm phone now. On the phone, I didn't use one. We move. And then I did stop and let it start. I'm getting in into the treat now. I want to analyze. What do I want to analyze now? I want to analyze. There is something I wanted to analyze. Can somebody remind me? I did find the phone now. Then it is starting. Somebody should remind me on comment section. What do that important thing I want to analyze now about IPOB? About IPOB. What was I hitting? What was it? Facebook will not allow me to see your comment too, as I demand it now. They will show me later. But we move. So the IPOB, we are fighting for Biafra restoration under. Okay, let me go. I've remembered, I've remembered it. Yes. Let me analyze. I've remembered it. When the Israelites was in their wilderness journey, snake bites them. And when they complained to Moses, listen, you know, Moses complained to God. And God brought solution. Not a solution that snake will stop biting them. No. A solution for healing when the snake bites you. Let me come back again. If the snake bite them, they told, God told Moses, kill a snake, hang it on a tree. Anybody the snake bites should look on that snake on the tree. God did not say, kill the snake, hang it on the tree, so that the snake will stop biting you. Did you understand? He did not say that the snake will stop biting you. He did not say that Nigerian army will stop invading our land. He did not say that Fulani Hesmen will stop invading our land. But there is a solution. Did you understand? But some people say, where is DLS? Army is coming. They, are killing. they will be coming. They will be coming. God did not say snake will stop. He only told them, if it bites you, look on this. That is to say, he ha why not stop the snake? Bata, bata. That is to tell you, you are in a war. It doesn't come easy. Even as God was leading them, he told them to stop here in the Amalekites. In the Amalek, they stopped there. At the time, the Amalekites, they came to fight them. The same God told them to train in another man's land that they should begin to train, to fight them in their land. In the valley of Rephidim, God discompeted the Amalekites in the valley of Rephidim. Using Moses by holding the staff, can you understand? Do you understand? Now, as our people reasons, why not when Moses was holding the staff, the Israelites should not fight? They should, he would have held the staff, then the, the Amalekites would be defeated. No, now you hold the staff while they fight. That is to say, people want our wars to stop immediately. And that is the propaganda they are using. Hey, Nigerian army is coming here. Hey, Fulani killed us in such a place. Where is ESL? But ESL is battling them somewhere. That is to say, the snake must bite you. But there is a solution. Look on that tree. The snake hung there. Look on it. Listen to the leadership. Follow instruction. They will direct you on how to escape it. Because they are still coming. 
That's what God was pointing out there. They will still buy you, but look at the solution to cure it, to heal it. Right? The Nigerian government, they are coming to kill us. Our leader said they are coming. He was here when they are killing us. He was here when Obibu took place. He was here when Emine took place. He raised up dragon flag in Emine to third of August because of Emine massacre. He was here when Ozolima started. But God gave, keep giving him instruction, direction. He did not, our leader did not say the killing stop immediately. He said they are going to kill us. They are coming. But these people with their propaganda, they say, the U.S. should do something. As if they are not doing something. ESL is fighting in Enugu. ESL is fighting in Abe. ESL is fighting in Enambra. ESL is fighting in Ebony. ESL is, but when Fulani run away from where ESL defeated them and go to another place, eventually you see them say, nah, what is ESL doing? Your duty is to inform ESL that these people have come here. Simple. And you will make sure that your community will not be saboteurs. Then ESL can come. When you defeat them here, they roof another place. That does not mean we are not fighting. But because you see them there, you did not see where we defeated them. You are seeing where they surfaced. And they say, what are they doing? Now the army is here. Now the army. Now the US will call our men. Now you are very foolish. They are using your emotion. God said, when kill a snake and hang it, whoever the snake bites should look on the snake hang on the tree. He did not say hang it. Snake will stop biting them. Did you understand? <laughs> that is to say, that they will not stop killing us. They are invaders. What you call them invaders? This Nigerian Fulani invaders, Nigerian government invaders, army invaders. That's what Ojuku called them. Their invasion did not start, start today. They are invaders. They will keep invading until we become free. Do not allow somebody to destroy. Hey, do you should do something now? They are still, they are coming. I saw Fulani. They, Oh God, there are places they don't go. That place you see them, when we confront them, they will stop. They will run. So we confront them. Our land is big. Right? Do you understand? You do not expect our problem to stop once. That is why you need freedom. Just like some people. When things happen, they say, do it like our leader. I say, you are a fool. You are an enemy of Fulham the Kano. How do you expect member of IPOB, director of state, to do like in Nam the Kano? How do you expect Biafrans, any Biafran, to do like in Nam the Kano? And you are praying that Nam the Kano should be out. If HOD will start acting like in Nam the Kano, then why do we want Nam the Kano to be out? If members of DOS, will start doing like Enam the Kano, doing the work of Enam the Kano. Why do you want him to be out? You want him to be out because nobody can do like him. You want him to be out because he has paid sacrifices. You want him to be out because he is destined to lead us. You want him to be out because he has paid the price. You want him to be out because nobody can do like him. And you see the leadership tell you that nobody can do like Enam the Kano. H.O.D. told you nobody can do like Enam the Kano. And the people keep deceiving themselves. Anybody that tell you that somebody can do like Enam Dekan, automatically is the enemy of Enam Dekan. The person you hate Enam Dekan because you want Enam Dekan to be out. Then how can you do like him? If you start doing what he's doing, what is the importance of him being here? Just like people that told you they want Enam Dekan to be free, they are now agitating for BF. Then they say they are now, they declare even government in exile. You ask them, if now they cannot come out, which Biafra is he going to restore? These are deceivers. But the IPOB leadership, they try to blackmail. They keep calling our leader. They present him as our leader. They keep fighting for him under his guideline. Did you understand? Now, people have drive you away, abandoning now they can, because they use his name to grow. They are not telling you how they are going to restore Biafra. But this is not how they started. They told you they are going to flee now. They can understand the game because you are a fool. They took you away with Monday's statue. They took you away with black men. 
They took away everything. Today, they drive you to restore Biafra. Rubbish. They now declare government in exile. Without the consent of the man who they told you they are fighting on his behalf. Government in exile, the man have condemned it in 2016, when Uchemi 4 brought it to him. But they told you they are disciples. They don't even pray like the master. They a disciple, so disciple of Jesus, uh, Jesus will be a Jew, the person will be a Muslim. You don't even pray like him. Discipleship started in that Christianity. Then how come that uh, Jesus is a master, Peter, disciple, they will become Muslim? Jesus will pray. Peter will not pray. James will not pray. Namdekan will pray in brokers. But I claim disciple does not pray. Namdekan is a Jewish because we the followers cannot be Jewish. But you that say you are a disciple, you will do what he does exactly. So how come you don't pray? How come you are not worshipping the same faith with him? What makes you a disciple? Did you understand? Then... These are the things we need to bring to the notice of people, knowing that you should hold somebody from where he started. Undam Dekanu must be free. DOS don't want him to be free. They compromise, they collect money. Now, who is now fighting for free Undam Dekanu? They blackmail them so that you will follow them. For them to drive you away, thinking that they will show the world that the power of Undam Dekanu have less. Did you understand? So, when they started taking you away, you don't know. Today, they are using you to raise money. Ask yourself, does the money relate to free Namde Kanino? They told you they are using it to run government in Asia. These are people, they don't have anything to do with their friend and the game. When they were shouting, they thought they have people that finally they have been cut off from their friend. What they have now are a few kidnappers. Now ask them, what are they using the money they are taking from you? To? After they have fed away, they must have to establish fake government in exile to be collecting money from you because their last agenda was to use no election to collect money and we destroy it. Then ask yourself, how does their activities now relate to freedom? They can just be truthful to yourself. How does their activities now relate to Namde can just be truthful to yourself, be sincere, knowing that that is their starting point of freeing Namde can. Did you understand? So that is why we remain there, freeing Namde can. We don't shift. Nobody can do it like him. But they told you they have chosen another leader, that God has given them another person. In the absence of Unam Dekanu. But Unam Dekanu have been leading us, even in detention. Did you understand the game? Now, when they started with Monday Statum, they told you it will last four months, our highest four months, our leader will be free. But they have used that one, it didn't work. Because they have no intention of freeing Unam Dekanu. Before you free Unam Dekanu, you must connect with IPOB, whether you are a US president. You will relate with IPOB. If you go to Nam Dekanu, he will direct you to IPOB leadership. People don't even know what we are doing. So you cannot be fighting for Nam Dekanu's release outside, outside IPOB. Now that is a lie. It's, if a politician wants to go for free Nam Dekanu, you must relate to IPOB leadership. Did you understand? People don't even know. That's why when traditional leaders want to go, you go to IPOB. It's not an individual case. That's why some people told you they're fighting for friend and they can without having any communication with the, with the IPOB leadership. You are dreaming. You, you are dreaming. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. That is the only force. That is the only connection Nigerian government will see. They will know you are fighting for Namdekan. If they know you have contact with leadership, they will know you come for friend Namdekan. If you come on your own, you are dreaming. Don't take you as anything. Did you understand? No, they are now in exile. We sack them from our land. We are holding our land. Do you understand? Because we know how to destroy enemies. Some people will be in a haste. Do this. Do it. Ayana, I also go to the we crush you. 
with your own weapon, we just tell you one. Anya happy, I'm not broke. Anya kwagaka. Again, I'm going to go at that. You go and When people started telling you, when people started using somebody's speech to replace them, they can. When people started telling you that God has given them another person, you don't use your sense. That what we told you earlier is that they came to take power away from one they can. But you don't know. And that is where we will be bringing the program of today to an end. May you go be my continue to bless all of you, grant you your heart desire, provide for you, continue to punish Facebook workers for what they are doing to IPOB freedom fighters using their site. God will continue to expose the enemies of IPOB, enemies of Nam Dekano, and the enemies of Biafra Restoration. God will disgrace everybody that is connected to the continuous legal detention of Nam Dekano. God will punish anybody that is connected to the kidnapping of Nam Dekano. God will punish anybody that hides the information about the kidnapping of Nandikan in Kenya instead of giving it out to us so that we'll fight for it in, when it was fresh. And God will continue to bring confusion among any gathering that is against Biafra, against IPOB, against Nandikan, and against our land. In your name, Chi Uku Okike, Abia Amana Poro Ime Ihenile. We have prayed. He said, He said, He said, Thank you. Happen, and I'm not a freedom fight in our prime minister. Happen that. On your team, I'm going to make this a dumb room. In my people, I'm going in the room where Gina be afraid people. Bah, Manditron room, Mandana doggy. Honey knows it be afraid. How you decide this? I won't then I don't know when they decide the appointment. But I feel, you know, we can't decide the appointment of any kind. We can only appoint people in our movement. We cannot appoint people over their friends. It's a lie. All the appointments you see is in IPOB because there are other organizations in Biafra land. Not freedom fighting. You know. There are market leaders, the market organization, the religious organization. Right? So when you are agitating for freedom, you start uh, imposing and uh, appointing people. Are you mad? Yeah, are you mad? How can you prime minister a land you cannot touch your leg? <laughs> you act as a prime minister where you cannot touch your leg. You can't touch your leg. Who are you, Prime Minister? Mad. Thank you, Mochidek. Over the leg, as of a Samuku, even in 10 years' time, Kine may Prime Minister. Now come to Colony. They are never an armor on you. Alone, you know, going out Monday. Mad. You'll be working with your people at home. Ah, they will go meet in Isa. They are not all. They are the people that will obey your command. Not too few criminals are going to handle. How can our government? Government in exile is mainly your people who will be obeying your command, whatever you tell them, because it's under the agreement with your people, and their strength will be the army you presented to them, which is their defense. Therefore, they will carry on any instruction from thee. You don't present any defense, you don't do anything, they don't know you, you don't relate them, you don't have interest, you don't do anything, you nothing. You only have cases of people you killed. People you frustrated. Uh, so you will not be ruling them. Do you see why you must engage your people in peace so that when time comes, they can listen to you? People that brought violence, they say they are now prime minister and coup, no? prime minister coup. Those that are criminals with you or the indigenous people, who knows about you? No, nobody knows. And that is what we are telling people that we are very, very wise. Thank you.
From me, fellow Sajio Evangelist, Mazamara Tumatuku, and from here, our homeland radio Biafra. It is good evening. Facebook, we're going to program. I had it too. We're not caught today.